Estes Park Wool Market. Two thumbs up in my book. We are on our way to the mountains of Colorado to visit the town of Estes Park for the two-day free yearly event that is the Estes Park Wool Market. All right, so today we're out here at the Estes Park Wool Market. Now, it says Wool Market, but it's really more of a festival. Um, we've been coming here for a couple years. I crochet, so I love doing that. There's a really good marketplace inside that has uh, fleeces and yarns and finished products and everything you can do. But really, the big draw of it is that they have all of the animals here as well. So you can see alpacas and angora rabbits and um, angora goats, with mohair goats and things like that. And you can see where all this yarn actually comes from. Um, so it makes it really good for kids, makes it really good for adults. You can get anything you need. There is a petting zoo, they have food and vendors and stuff like that. And it's super chill and just Estes Park, Colorado is one of the most gorgeous places on the planet. So we come every year. It's one of my favorites. I love it because I can pick up some fun yarns and some fun stuff like that. But yeah, Estes Park Wool Market, two thumbs up in my book. We're doing a sheep to shawl contest. Um, and we have taken sheep that was shorn in January. We washed the wool and we combed, carded it, sorted it, carded it. We spun almost 10,000 yards to put it on the loom. And now, um, and now part of our competition is we are now spinning the weft to weave onto the board. Okay, and how many people how many people are on the team? We have six people on our team, five that are active and one that's an alternate. Okay, very cool. We have one weaver and four spinners. Very cool. So what's the deadline when you have to have it all done by? Uh, two thirty or three. Which okay, well good luck. Yep, yeah, thank you. Keep spinning. I always enjoy the sheep shearing demos throughout the weekend. This gentleman was great at explaining that the underbelly will be shorn first and set aside since it's dirtier than the top and that it will need extra washing and processing. The remaining will be sheared in a specific pattern so that it will be one gigantic connected fleece when all is done.
think, Emily? I want one. They're so fluffy and cute. You have to brush them every day. So if I move, he moves, he moves. And that's all natural. And then I'll show you direction by using that. And the there and the walk up is all I'll start with him. But I have to be careful because if I work him too long, then he's like, this is boring. So I have to keep it short and fun. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna bring him up. This is kind of my really good lead sheet. Mom and all the rest. <laughs> I can control the situation now and I can drop it if I need to because if they run off I'm going to teach you just to chase you. If the dog wasn't out here, trust me, they're not going to follow me. They're not that tame. <laughs> but they do know that I'm safe. <laughs> RJ, like I said, after him being kicked, he's a little weird. <laughs> from all over. Quilting means that the darker fibers are a little bit shorter, maybe the lighter fibers are a little longer. So we don't we try to discourage that. So I'm gonna do my best. Do you need more animal festivals, national festivals, and food festivals in your life? 
Be sure to hit the like and subscribe buttons below so we can bring more festival fun to you.